I just thought it was an important thing to prove, to show that if we're not looking at the same thing, then we're not working towards a common purpose, right? So, and rather than have things that are written into the contract, it's a lot easier for you and I have principles of engagement. And those range from knowing your lane, um, they range from a shared love of ideas, a shared vision, they, they range from kindness as an ever-present theme, because I think most of the time, when you start telling me that you pay me because you're the, you're the client, then it sours the relationship, right? It also has to do with just recognizing that you get the team you deserve. If you want brave work, you'll get a team that does brave work. But if you pummel people every time they give you brave work, then you'll get a beat team. A team that doesn't want to take chances, a team that's risk averse, a team that literally gives you work that is to the lowest common denominator. So it's important that as a, an agency and client, we recognize and understand that the stuff that we want, that's the stuff that we should be giving. So how about we just focus on giving what we are asking for? Because if, if you just use that as the only principle, it would shift a million relationships. The bacon and egg breakfast is an analogy I like to use to demonstrate the following, that in that bacon and egg setup, the chicken is involved but the pig is committed. But if, and if in a relationship one of us is the egg and the other is the bacon, then we're mismatched already. Because one will stop work when it's done, the other will stop work when they are tired. And you'd rather have people with a shared ethos, a shared worth ethic, and a shared um, understanding of what needs to be done, and, and that we remain standing until the job is done. So I always just say, if you're a pig, then choose another pig. Forget the chickens. They can find their own chickens. It does work. I guess it, it takes me back to the other element I was talking about, which was request and commitment, that we do need to be very clear that in asking for something, you also have to commit to give something. So for the agency, if you're asking the client to be brave or to trust you, then you have to be responsible. For the client, if you're asking the agency to be on time or budget conscious, then you also have to be mindful of timings. Or you want the agency to give you great work, then you've got to commit to give them more time because creative best ideas actually take a lot of time. So it is the, the request and commitment exercise is actually quite a, a powerful relationship shifter because if you exercise it in the everyday, then it changes the dynamic and often for the better.